If you just watched the last video, you learned how to classify real numbers. Now you're going to get a chance to practice and decide from this list of numbers which ones are natural, whole, integers, rational, and irrational. Remember the definitions. Natural numbers are numbers that you can count. Whole numbers are natural numbers plus zero. Integers are whole numbers plus their opposite. Let's skip down to irrational numbers are numbers that you can't write as a repeating decimal or a terminating decimal. And rational numbers would be anything that's not irrational. I'll leave this page so you can practice it over and over, and I'm going to put the solutions on this page. So, of the natural numbers, let's see, we have 9, 12 over 4, and we have the square root of 9. Square root of 9, because that's equal to 3, which you can count, and 12 over 4, which is also equal to 3, which you can count. Whole numbers are natural numbers plus 0. So we have 9, 12 over 4, square root of 9, and 0. Integers are numbers plus, excuse me, are whole numbers plus their opposites. So we have 9, write these numbers down again, and let's see, we have a negative 6 in here. And I'm going to skip down to irrational. Irrational numbers would be square root of 11 and pi. And everything else is rational. So let's list those. We have negative 6, 2.3, 9, 12 over 4, 0, 3 fourths, and the square root of 9. And you remember, your numbers are either rational or irrational. So let's count and make sure that we have every number accounted for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Every number has been put in a, in a classification. All right. Now, this next page, once again, practice these. Try them on your own. See how you do. And I'm going to put the solutions on the next page. So natural numbers are numbers we can count. We have 12, uh, 9 th over 3, stuck on that number 3 for some reason, and we have the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. And whole numbers are natural numbers plus 0. So we have 12, 9 over 3, square root of 25, and 0. Integers are whole numbers plus their opposites. So let's write down all the whole numbers again. And negative 4. Skip down to the irrational, which are really easy to recognize. All radicals, for the most part, unless it's perfect square, like 4 and 9 and 16 and 25, in this case 25, 36, 49, 81, 100, 121, 144. All right, and pi. Pi is always irrational. And the rational numbers are everything else. So we have 12, we have 3 over 8, lovely fraction, negative 4, 6.5, can also be written as a fraction, uh, 9 over 3, 0, square root of 25, and let's count again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, how did you do? This workforce product was funded by a grant awarded by the United States Department of Labor's Employment and Training Administration. The product was created by the grantee and does not necessarily reflect the official position of the U.S. Department of Labor. The Department of Labor makes no guarantees, warranties, or assurances of any kind, express or implied, with respect to such information, including any information on link sites, and including, but not limited to, accuracy of the information or its completeness, timeliness, usefulness, adequacy, continued availability, or ownership.